Okay, so I just went, okay, I, I needed to get a drink because I was like, I'm sickly, my throat's scratchy. I freaking went to pee, broke my necklace. Oh my God, I guess it got hung and the chain was, it doesn't matter about the necklace. Half of this, I'm gonna have a necklace. The other half, I'm not gonna have a necklace because I just needed a freaking drink, okay? I'm sorry, but so anyways hey guys welcome back to my channel today i do have a collaboration here on youtube with some amazing women luna faye beauty had posted in our facebook group beauty and beyond that she wanted to do a collab about 10 things that we learned this year on social medias blogging youtube any social medias and i thought that was such a great idea because we're all in different phases of our social medias and I thought maybe we have some things that we've learned along the way that might help you guys, inspire you guys. So I was like, yes, I would love to be a part of this collab. So when you're done watching this video, don't forget to check the description bar. I will link all of the ladies below with their videos and their channels. And I hope you guys do enjoy the 10 things that I learned on social media this year. Okay, the first thing that I learned this year was how helpful your blog can be to kind of marry all of your other social medias. If you do have a blog and you post frequently about the things that you do videos or post about, that's a great way to link your videos, link your Instagram posts, you know, link your other social medias, and then people can read it who liked you in black and white, and then they can click on that link and watch your videos. And I, I do think it kind of helps increase the traffic and things like that. Now, I don't do that yet, but I'm trying to find a way to incorporate my beauty channel with my blog because my blog at the moment is more about animals and animal rights and things like that. But that's a great thing that I learned this year that I am working on doing for myself. The next thing that I did learn was do what you love. No matter if you have 2,000 subscribers or 2 million subscribers, if you are passionate and love the things that you're talking about and sharing with people, whether it blogs or videos, then people are going to see it and that's what they're going to respond to. And the right people are going to come along eventually and find you. So definitely do what you want to do. You know, don't just do things because everyone else is doing it or you think it'll be a good idea. If you're not passionate about it, people are going to see it. Next thing was definitely that no matter how hard you try, um, not everyone will like you or be pleased, you know, and someone is going to hate you. And that is okay. I think the sooner you accept that the better time you're going to have here no matter you know how good your content is how much you've edited you know and you've delivered the content someone is going to hate you they're not going to like your personality or gel or mesh with you and that's okay you know that's just the way the world is but I do think that the sooner you accept it you know that not everyone's going to like you the better you're going to be the less it's going to stress you out you know what I'm saying so definitely accept that and just once you know it you know it you know the next thing that I learned this year was definitely about the small channel community and whatever community accepts you and takes you in I encourage you to embrace that community I cannot imagine coming on to YouTube you know or a blog and not involving in that community and thank God these people have adopted me and have taken me in because it's an amazing experience when you find the right community whether it's a gaming community or a vlog or a parenting or a beauty community once you find the right one for you the people there are amazing they will absolutely you know to support each other and to help each other answer any questions that you may have and you may know some answers to their questions so that was a big one for me this year was you know, finding the right community for me and being accepted and just embracing it. And it's been an amazing experience for was me. to just be yourself. Um, I see so many new channels come up that are recommended to me or blogs and you click on it and the person is talking just like Graveyard Girl. The same mannerisms, the way they talk, the same excitement and all of that. And I'm like, why am I not just watching Graveyard Girl? You know, definitely be yourself. I did not start YouTube to come on here and be someone else. You know, I just wanted to be me, to share my love of makeup, skincare, do it yourself, you know, recipes and all of that sort of thing. So it's very important. I mean, this is YouTube. It's you, your habits, your quirkiness, your personality, your, you know, funniness. And so just 
be yourself. That's so important. The next thing definitely that I learned this year was that I'm never alone. Um, the women and men that I have befriended here in the community that have embraced me and taken me in, I know what video, who I need to click on what video, who I need to see that day to make me laugh, to lift me up, to, you know, change my mood or my spirit and things like that. And everything that I go through, they go through it with me, you know, the the joys, the, the sorrows and all of that. And it is definitely a feeling of a community, a family. I am never alone. And I, I didn't realize that before as just a viewer, but now that I'm a content creator, and I, you know, have other social medias, definitely I'm never alone. The next thing is definitely I have learned that I've created a family. Just as I'm never alone, the women and men that I speak to on a daily basis that have accepted me, embraced me, I've embraced them. You know, we comment regularly and basically we've created a family amongst us a, a lot of family members but if you don't have a big family this is an amazing family that we've created and I didn't realize that going in but now that it's happened I think it's just one of the most beautiful things ever. Uh, the next thing that I learned this year was how important it is to engage with your readers or your viewers. Now I had a y'all now, I had a blog for years, and I did, you know, reply to those comments and things, but now that other social media is involved and I have YouTube, I just think that it's really important to interact with them, you know, comment back to them. I'm still at a number right now where I can easily comment back to every comment that I get. Now, the last couple of days have been kind of tricky because Google Plus is messed up or something, but... I always try, and when I get to a number that I can't respond so easily back, I'm going to take just one day and reply to comments because I think it's really important to engage with them. They're taking time out of their busy schedules, their lives, to read your blog, you know, check out your post, watch your videos, share it, and all of those things. So that was something that I did learn this year that I think might help a lot of other people. The next thing is... Um, I, there was never a need to be afraid. This was my first year on YouTube, my first few months actually, and I know every single person that I talk to or speak to or talks to me that are, you know, talking about creating a channel or starting a channel or their first video, there's this fear. And it's so hilarious to go back and watch your very first video. It's hysterical because you're all nervous and you don't know what you're doing or where to look or anything like that. And that was one thing that I learned this year for sure at the end of this time, you know, the years come to an end. I've made it my first six months and definitely there was never anything to fear. I don't know why it's such a daunting, fearful thing, but I, you know, I've seen many other content creators remark that people have talked to them about, you know, being scared to start. There is nothing to fear. Um, this is an amazing place. It's an amazing thing for you to do for yourself. Vlogging, blogging, or just making videos, anything like that. There's nothing to fear. Nothing. And the last thing that I learned this year, and probably one of the most awakening things that I talked about, you know, someone is always not going to like you, and you just have to accept that. Just as there are as many haters, there are so many supportive, beautiful people. And I know I've had three kind of similar things that I've learned this year, but they're all so important. But there are so many supportive people here, you know, <clears throat> no matter what mood you're in, if you're in a sad mood, you can you know, read the, your family's comments from here and just how wonderful they are and supportive and they, you know, had a laugh or enjoyed your content or congratulate you on a new puppy. You know, just as many haters as there are, the supporters and the love is seven times as much. And I don't know how I got that number, but I got it. And that was something that did, it didn't, but it did surprise me. It didn't in the fact that I was a viewer first and I felt that for the people that I was watching. And now that I create videos, 
not necessarily my blog so much, but the video part, um, I, I absolutely can understand it because that's how I felt about the women that I watched. So it's definitely a, a, it was a wonderful experience for me. This was just my first six months. I didn't have the whole year of learning things, you know, and I may have learned just as much negative as I did positive, but the whole experience has been positive. There's, I, I, I'm the kind of person that I feel like you can't take away from me what I don't give you the power to take. And I, it's amazing how many strong, beautiful, not on the outside. When I say beautiful people, I mean on the inside. It's amazing how many strong, beautiful, wonderful people here on this, you know, on YouTube, our blogs, our social medias. There are just as many good people. But anyways, that's my list, you guys. I've learned so much, but that's just kind of a rundown gist of the good and the bad, you know. And I would have to say that overall, it was a much more positive experience than it was a negative. But, you know, you have to kind of share the things that stayed out the most to me this year, that things that I I learned and was kind of either one way or the other. It was a very positive learning or a very negative learning, you know, but I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you, Luna Faye, for allowing me to be a part of this collab with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Have a happy and safe New Year's, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.